Welcome to Backwoods Teacher, the Modern U.S. History Edition. Today we're going to begin taking a look at Franklin Roosevelt and the New Deal and eventually comparing it to the events in Germany under Adolf Hitler and looking at similarities and differences. I'd like to begin today by talking about several ideas that guide our country so that you can put some of the events of the New Deal into context. The United States economic system is based upon the idea of capitalism. Capitalism, according to Wikipedia, is an economic system that is based on the private ownership of capital goods or the means of production and the creation of goods and services for profit. Elements central to capitalism include capital accumulation, competitive markets, and a price system. All right, putting that into plain English, capitalism is a way to run a country's economy. The people, private individuals, own the businesses and factories and farms. Capitalism uses competition among businesses to keep prices down, wages fair, and create new products. It's not always perfect but it does work for the most part. Competition between Apple and Microsoft, for example, create new products for you. Another example that's getting to be more outdated would be MySpace and Facebook. Competition between two different power companies makes electricity or coal or natural gas more affordable. Another document that I would like you to keep in mind as we begin looking at some of these questions and looking at the, the New Deal is this. The 22nd Amendment of the United States Constitution sets a term limit for election to the office of President of the United States. Congress passed this amendment in 1947. In our present time, there is a House of Representatives resolution proposing to repeal this amendment. Uh, this is not unusual. There have been several attempts to repeal the 22nd Amendment. As future voters, this is something you, you need to consider and to be, to be thinking about, is the role and the why we have this amendment, how it is important, uh, how it can restrict us, and how it can protect us. Okay, so as we take a look at Franklin Roosevelt and the New Deal, um, I'd like you to think about the following. How did the New Deal programs help the economy by providing either recovery, relief, or reform? I'll explain those uh, three ideas shortly. As Franklin Roosevelt created new solutions to the Depression, uh, this means the New Deal programs, how did his authority as president grow? Did the New Deal programs blur the line of capitalism and bring the U.S. closer to nationalism of businesses? When FDR died, he was in the beginning of his fourth term as president. What are the dangers of having a popular president? Think about checks and balances. Okay, one of the things we'll take a look at is propaganda and uh, the role of the media and the role of, of Hollywood and, and um, art and so on in the New Deal and even maybe with presidents today. This is a mural depicting Franklin Roosevelt. Think about some of the things in this mural. And uh, it's the center of the mural. We have a, a worker who is uh, being comforted by Franklin Roosevelt. Roosevelt is standing uh, in the middle. He's providing comfort and inspiration to all the work going on around him. We'll be comparing propaganda as used in the United States with propaganda used in Germany. Okay, these are some terms that I'd like you to know uh, about FDR, uh, the role of polio and in the fact that he had it, how it influenced him, and the per, uh, perception of him, know what the New Deal was, 
the gold standard, what is meant by the 100 days, what is a bank holiday, and the brain trust. All right, for today, one of the things that we're going to do is this. Uh, I'd like you to use the textbook or the internet to find examples of two New Deal programs for each of the three goals. That, that makes six. The different goals of the New Deal were as follows, to provide relief or immediate aid, to provide recovery or jobs and employment, this put money back into the economy by, by paying workers. Workers could then have money to spend. It's more of a long-term type of solution. And finally, to provide reform, these established laws or guidelines to regulate the economy. So what we're going to start on today is take a look at these three goals and take a look at the programs. They're, they're in the text. They're, you can find a list of them on the internet. Look at what the program does, the New Deal program does, and see where it would fit. Thank you for listening. See you next time.